Work hard and you'll achieve great results. Many of us have probably heard this phrase thousands of times, coming from different people. For me, it was my parents. I've always believed that the more I worked, the more successful I'd be. But I was wrong. Sometimes working less can actually produce better results. Look at Instagram back in the day. They got acquired by Facebook and they only had 13 employees. Snapchat was turning down offers from Facebook and even Google. They are proof that the key to success is not working hard, but working smart. Being busy is different than being productive. There is a notable distinction between being busy and being productive. Being busy doesn't necessarily mean that you're being productive. Being productive is less about time management and more about managing our energy. It's learning how to spend the least amount of energy to get the most results. It's about taking a more intentional and minimalistic mindset and start applying the less is more mindset. Stop working overtime and increase your productivity. Have you ever wondered the scientific reason how five-day, 40-hour work week came around? There's none. In 1926, Henry IV, founder of that Ford car that you love driving, conducted an experiment with his own stuff. He decreased the daily hours from 10 to 8 hours on the work rate from 6 to 5 and the results shocked everyone and they last until this day. A 2001 study on construction actually projects concluded that if a work schedule of 60 or more hours per week continue longer than two months the cumulative effect of decreased productivity will cause a delay in the completion date beyond that which could have been realized with the same crew with size of 40 hour week. Furthermore increasing your working hours will increase your stress levels which might make you not fall asleep at night. A research conducted by the US military revealed that losing just one hour of sleep per night for a week will cause a level of cognitive degradation equivalent to having four glasses of wine. It's important not to overwork ourselves and get enough sleep to maintain a high level of productivity. If you feel like you're lacking, you might just need a nap. Don't say yes too much. It's something difficult to say no to your boss when they ask you to do something. And it's even more difficult to say no when a friend asks you to hang out. According to the Pareto principle, 20% of the effort produces 80% of the results and 20% of the results come from 80% of the effort. So instead of working harder and focusing on the 80% that will give you 20% of the results, let's focus on that 20% that will give the most results. So what should you say yes to and what should you say no to? Well, that's up to you. You might consider running a little bit experiment where you're tracking everything you do, focusing on the time that it takes you to complete and the achieved result afterwards. Then you go back and see what did or did not give you the results that you were expecting, and then you can start optimizing your tasks. Now you may think, yeah, it's easy to say yes, but I find it difficult to say no. And I get it, no one likes saying no to things. In a 2012 study, researchers split 120 students in two groups. One simply had to say, I can't do something, and the other, I don't do something. They noticed that the students that said I can't actually ended in 65% of the cases doing the thing they said they couldn't do. Yet, the students that say I don't ended up only at 36% of the time. This simply change in the terminology can improve and can help you say yes less often. Stop doing everything yourself and let people help you. Have you noticed how brands don't promote their own products themselves? I mean, yeah, they do, but not in the way you expect. Most of it comes from user-generated content, and it's for a reason. A 2012 report has shown that when looking for an answer and information on particular brand information, over half of Americans trust user-generated content more than what's on the website, on the media, or even coming from the brand. So what brands have done, it's they let your favorite creator make an ad for them. It's better to let someone else do the work so that you can focus on most important tasks for them selling. Instead of wasting time and energy overloading yourself or trying to do it alone, let others people help you and do it for you. And if you cannot get someone else to do the work for you, sometimes even having someone next to you can help you to be more productive. David Lowell, a clinical neuropsychologist from Massachusetts, says that distractible people get more done when there is something or someone else there. That is the sole reason why going to the library makes you more productive than actually studying at home, or at least it did for me. Stop being perfectionist. So this one is easy. Being a perfectionist is not good for yourself. Perfectionists spend more time than they require doing any tasks. They procrastinate and wait for the perfect moment. A lot of the time they miss that big opportunity while focusing too much on the little small details. 
There is no perfect time. The perfect moment is just now. A study on perfectionism and productivity among professors found that perfectionism actually screws up professors on the way they research about productivity. The more perfectionist they are, the less productive they become. So stop putting lame excuses to start your business or a brand and just go and do it now. Start automating. And I don't mean use AI and make money from AI automation, whatever. I'm talking about using automation to help you get rid of repetitive tasks. People usually forget that your time is money, especially when running businesses. So in order to control the process, they do things manually because it's easy and it just requires no research. According to a research study conducted by Tethys Solutions, I hope I said that correctly, a team of five people who spend 3, 20, 25, 30, and 70% of their time on repetitive tasks managed to reduce that time spent to 3, 10, 15, 15, and 10% after months of working on enhancing their productivity. Stop guessing and start backing up your decisions with data. If you can optimize your investment portfolio to yield the most results or you can optimize your Instagram page to get the most followers or whatever you're into, you can certainly optimize yourself, your life to grow and to reach your maximum potential. For example, did you know that most people are easily distracted between 12 and 4 p.m.? Like the after lunch dip in energy, it's actually scientifically proven. It exists. So you might decide to do your hardest task during the morning and leave the easiest task for the afternoon because that's when you will be most tired and less productive. But even if you can find data on a particular questions, you can just try things out by yourself. For example, you can just write down your results. For example, waking up at 5 a.m. doesn't work for you. Okay, try 6 a.m. That doesn't work. Okay, try 12, 7 a.m. and so on and so on. And I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this one, but hear me out. Stop working hard and take time to do nothing at all. Most people and probably you as well don't realize that when you're too focused on something, you end up locking yourself in a mental block that will be counterintuitive for what you're looking for. What I mean by this is it's important to walk away from work once in a while and have some time for yourself alone, which is good for your brain and your soul. According to The Power of Lonely from the Boston Globe, an ongoing Harvard study indicated that people form more lasting and accurate memories if they believe they're experiencing something by themselves. And while no one would dispute that too much isolation early in life can be unhealthy, a certain amount of solitude and being alone has been shown to help teenagers improve their moods and to earn good grades in school. It's important to take time to reflect as we often find the solutions for what we're looking for when we actually are not looking for them. We also need to understand that we cannot expect to be more productive overnight, but it's more of an ongoing process. Like everything, it requires effort and dedication. Take the time to learn more about your body and about your mind, what works for you and what doesn't. Find actionable ways to improve your energy and time to live a happier, more successful life. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.